किम वा भागवता धर्म किम वा भागवता धर्म न प्रायेण निरूपिता प्रायेण निरूपिता दिस हेच यू नो दिस अर्थ दिस शुड बी प्रोनंस क्लियरली किम किम वा भागवता धर्म किम वा भागवता धर्म 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 वेन यू थ्रू इट इज नॉट वाइड रीड वो तो दिस रे स्टॉप सीन सीन किम 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 वा भागवता धर्म धर्म इज रॉन्ग Dharma, Dharma. Why? If my throat vibrates, I can't feel it. Well, what sort of thing? No, first cut it like this, and then. Kimba Bhagavata Dharma. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> cut it like this. You can't vibrate. Can you follow me? Come on. किंवा भागवता धर्म भागवता No point in the trying. Your throat never works. Yes, the trouble is. Kimba ba. Oh, it's something in there. No, no, Kal, try it. Kimba ba gavata dharma. Yes, yes, some vibration is taking place. This, this vibration is Krishna. Yes, I like this lyric, and all the words should be pronounced very clearly. Otherwise, it doesn't fit in. Kim va Bhagavata Dharma. Kim va Bhagavata Dharma. Na prayena nirupita ha. Na prayena nirupita ha. Niru ru is long, you know. You please look to the long words. Kim va भागवता धर्म प्रेण निरूपिता प्रेण निरूपिता प्रेण निरूपिता निरूपिता 
So how can you be satisfied? <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, she immediately changed. She said, yes, this is the correct answer. Nobody gave me this answer. Now this is please. Then you do anything and everything, you go to anywhere. Unless you come to this, Bhagavad Dharma, you'll never be satisfied. And Bhagavad Dharma is unflinching faith. And because we accept his supremacy, so unknowingly we are serving him. This is the other side of the coin. On one side we are accepting the supremacy. And the other side the service comes. Supreme accept supremacy means you become slavery. This is this is the main thing. And it's very easy. It's so potent. And the beauty of this verse is that before Narada Muni came, he, he himself tells this. So there is always there is transcendent intelligence in us. So before we come to any living entity educated than us, we know what's going on in our, in our life. So that is how each corner has got to be cleaned. The regulated life must be there. The, the regulated life will help us to, to visualize the correct thing. If our life is not regulated and supported by these infrastructures, spiritual infrastructures, then the life becomes useless. We must have plenty of in infrastructure, spiritual. And then we already have you know, in the form of tapes and so many videos and everything. Please, please, just try to see it. Otherwise, the, uh, there are so many Kaliyuga forces, they will just take away from, take you away from this. You know, we were in England, there, there is one big book, you know, big volume it is. Like Bhagavad you know, and all the daily hikes, some hikes, has written something. And he is still grinding that Diana's thing, Princess Diana. And how she was killed and how she was died, and how she died. And, and people are mad after him. Diana, Diana, Diana. I don't know what is it, man. You are honestly digging the past. She is gone, buried everything. The trees are grown on his tomb, on her tomb. And you are still Diana, Diana, Diana. And this is madness. Then not only Diana, but he, he says that there, there are so many demonic forces. And he catches bush, he catches everybody all being created. And again he goes on criticizing them. Again he shows this big world into them. I don't know why you are mad after all these. We have Bhagavatam to read. And instead of that, David, his concoction was there, and the thousands of living entities are following his concoction, and they are discussing his concoctions. And concoction, where are you going to take it? It's a concoction, does not have any existence. Our Bhagavatam says very clearly that there are demons and there are demigods. The same thing is continuing. The demonic tendency is there. By hook or crook, they want to stabilize themselves in the power. That is, the, that is the demon, of course. And the demigods, they try to show us the good way. But the good, many times the good way is defeated by the way. It's already here. So why to blame the living entities again to find out the living entities from Russia and from America and from... and see the demons are everywhere and they are controlling the planet and this and that. It's all nonsense. So instead of referring to those things, what is it that is worse? So they have thousands and thousands of topics to hear. And this is one, yeah, and it's selling like a hot cake, David, 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 David. Everywhere is David, I mean, I don't think I have a David, I consciousness. And you're running after his concoctions. This is how easily misguided in this age. If we don't want to be misguided, then we must come to the center. In Hindi, it's very nice misguided. Maya Chakki Jani hai, Kiel Rupa Bhagwan. Kiel, you know that? Chakki, have you seen the Kremlin stones? No, old time. Not the, now recently. 
they reset the stones are like this. They were done by the, no, the old one. One stone was fixed on the ground and it had a peg, wooden peg inside. And around the peg, the other stone will fit in. And that stone will be moving. And there is a handle, you know, nice. I think we should have pixel, we should have. You need to take some pixel. You know? <laughs> so otherwise in the world you don't have any idea of the grinding stones. You know? Two stones were there. One stone was fixed on the ground. And the stone which was fixed had a peg in between. And in the peg the other stone will fit in. There is an opening near the peg. And the corns will be be um, put into the opening near the peg and slowly they grind. So the floor comes up. That chakki he is talking. That grinding stone here. Maya chakki jani. Kila rupa bhagwan. That peg is like a bhagwan. And uh, you haven't seen. I think we should demonstrate that chakki. That grinding stone. Next time you come to the Mumbra state. <laughs> You have to remind me, yeah? we'll, we'll find our gents from somewhere. Now in India, also they're managing very fast. Otherwise, every day early in the morning, the ladies will get up and they grind the stone, they have fresh flour. Now our flour is grown in Canada or somewhere, and after five years it comes to you. So it's a party flower. <laughs> Nothing is daily. So these, the point is that he gives this example. And he said that that peg is like, like Krishna. So if you put the corns inside, the corns we are near, the, near the peg, they are saved. The grinding stone is moving fast. But those who go away from the peg, they are completely destroyed, crushed. This is how it is. The stone is moving fast. It is crushing the corns, grains, you know. But those grains which stick near the peg, they are not affected because it's an opening there. So they are not crushed. This, this way, those who are unfamiliar attached to the supremacy of Krishna, they are not crushed by energy and energy of the Lord. Otherwise, all the living entities who leave the peg, they are going to be crushed without doubt. And this is how please remember this and try to Constitution and this thing. It's a very small right. top food. What is the other two lines? Uh, Maya Chakki Jai hai, Kila Rupa Bhagwan. Kila, Kila Rupa Bhagwan. And then? Kila Nikat so bas ke hai. Kila Nikat. Kila Nikat. Kila means near the keel, near the peg. The grains which are near the peg, they are on ground. When they stick to, stick to the peg, the other grains which disperse, they go away from the peg, they are crushed. They are in between two stones, and stones are continuously moving. This is illusory energy. It's continuously moving. And those who leave Krishna, they are going to be crushed. That is what we see. You know, in the temple compound, those who don't attend Mughalati, they are sick. <laughs> 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 the reason we are laughing is uh, there's a devotee, Devki Nandan, who's staying with us. Mm. He's, he's right now resting down in the basement. He's not here? Yeah, he's there. He's come back last night. He's there. So he's resting. So, I mean, anyway, it's a different story. <laughs> anyway, the story is same. Yeah. We were in then the souls are completely engrossed in sleep at the time of Mungari. And they are all suffering. Then I have to come to Dwarka to have some uh, Ayurvedic white deer. I to Dwarka is there. <laughs> you find her some Ayurvedic hospital somewhere else. And then in Dwarka there is only one thing, you were in Dwarka. There is nothing else. <laughs> uh, so we, we, are, we don't believe in Gomti River or Dwarka Beach. So then we have to move about here and there, there, there. This is our experience in our temple compound. 
you see, you know the temple of God, those who don't attend, their feet are so run, and my head is so run, the morning gets <laughs> there is no time for us to do this thing. Please, please, please. Save yourself. And at least wherever you are, you have some of work in that. And you will be away from these so called miseries. You know? Otherwise, we make ourselves miserable. That's the point here. Vyas Bhagavan says, see. Repeat it. Tim what? This very nice translation. Dharma 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 Sorry, Bhagavata Dharma As soon as devotion is not passive. That we have to ingrain in your mind. Devotional service is not passive. Otherwise, what we think that I meditate and I'm alright. No, devotion is active. Prabhupada always he has shown a very correct way that activity is there. And in this, all others are failures. Where they they just they're in an ecstatic state or whatever. Just more. There is no activity. And then it becomes surgery. There, there must be activity. Our soul is highly active. active. When there is a small child, nearly what? Who lives in him? Why? Because the soul is very active. And how much supreme active principle, how much active it should be? What is that term? Jatu karmil nita mirita. He says, if I stop the work, the whole planet will be destroyed, or the planets will be destroyed. So how much active principle we are running after? So if it is actually so highly active principle, how much active we should be? And this body will drag it down. That's different. So those who are very active, they get out of the bodily miseries. And that is Bhagavad. Atma Jam Yoga Variant. Atma Jam is the bodily troubles. They definitely will vanish Yoga Variant by Yogi exercise. Means you have to be active. This is it. Why can't we really come to this point? The devotional activities of the living beings. So you have to be active to go to Krishna. By this laziness, you can never see, you never have dreams of Krishna. This is a nice translation. See, the Bhagavata Dharma, um, I mean, repeat please. Devotional activities. Devotional activities. Of the living entities. Of the living entities. Uh, Prabhupada is the only one saint in the recent times who has given the actual demonstration of the activities. Otherwise, who, who is other? There's so many lectures going on, so many discourses are going on every and every day. Switch on a very cushy bed. I'm sorry, cushy chair is not bed. <laughs> if we had put the bed in the lecture, they would be very happy. So much crowded in there. I have gone with me. I like that. Please. We always like, like to be inactive. And here the devotional activity should be there. By inactive tendencies, how can you go ahead? This is the thing. Please remember this thing. And this is the core, core of our Bhagavata Dharma. There is the devotional activities of the living being. And we, we very well know that the soul is active. Soul doesn't want to sleep. The body wants to sleep. So we are awake always. No sleep. In dark age. The activity, the more active you are, the more enthusiastic you will be. And as it is, they say, doctors also say, you please don't say, oh, move, here move, there move, here. Doctor has said to me, said to me, every five minutes you have to walk. So he or she gets up and somebody there walks in the temple, in the room, you know, and the room is full of junk, you know, on old furniture, grandfather's knife. 
we were in Fiji, and his whole house was full of furniture. Hardly there was a room to walk. Nobody, no, I just said, my grandfather was sitting here. At that time, my father was sitting here. So all whole generation tables were there. <laughs> and chairs were there. Oh, his grandmother was sitting on this. And all junk. There is no place in the house, please. Try to keep clear. This room is how nice clear if you put the pieces of furniture. You will be able to see the early four people in And ashtrays will be there. Smoke will come out. Instead of incense smoke, <laughs> uh, nice smoke. <laughs> please, please. So, uh, a proper mercy will complete save from this. At least, if not anything else. Isn't it advantageous? Hey, son, what are you doing? Isn't it advantageous? Yes, what is advantageous? I mean, furniture. Who oh, furniture? <laughs> 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 You're bankrupt, man. <laughs> really, he requires a woman. <laughs> How active he was. Early in the morning, they were both running. Maybe one kilometer. To water the trees. <laughs> <laughs> and then the pipe will not go in India. The pipes are short, the water is short. They take the pipe, it comes out of the tank. <laughs> Again, they run there five miles to fix the tap. <laughs> oh, really, India is really India. I like you. <laughs> and in the morning, there is no water. So everybody is running out. Water, water, water. <laughs> Grab water from somewhere. <laughs> please, please. That is also activity. <laughs> well, but small is We have to be active. And this is there in Mughalati really helps us. That is, you get up, you take shower, you are moving around here and there. And you come to the room somewhere, seeing it, and maybe in half sleep you sing, but sing. <laughs> <laughs> this action must be there. Right. Yeah. So, come on, repeat the translation. Some read. Let them repeat. This may be. This, this may, may be. Because, because, because I did not specifically point out. I did, I did not specifically point out. out the devotional service. The devotional service of the Lord. Of the Lord. Of the Lord. Which is dear. Which is dear. dear. Both to perfect beings. Both, both to perfect beings. beings. And to the infallible Lord. And to the infallible Lord. No. Please close the books and repeat the words. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Kimba Bhagavata Dharma. Kimba Bhagavata Dharma. Na Praena. Na Praena. Nirupita. Na Praena. Priya Bhagavata Dharma Prayana Nirupita Sana, Eva Hyachuta Priya,
<coughs> Once we remember this, then the the other thing is that if we cannot be satisfied without devotional activities, then we must try to have some devotional activities. That goes without saying, in order to be satisfied. And this is very simple. But then we complicate the matters. Because I'm not satisfied, I must have a big house to satisfy myself. And here in America is very extravagant. One kilometer house you have. And you clean it and the other is paint for cleaning. The whole life goes in cleaning. In I'm very active. But that activity is not devotional activity, that's the thing. If the big house is there, I have a nice program. A thousand people can see it. And they will clean to it. They will do everything. This is the activity. Some or the other, it should be connected to the Supreme Absolute Truth. And because we don't do it, then in any faith you will not be satisfied. It doesn't matter whether it's Christian faith or Islam faith or Hindu faith or whatever faith. All, all, this, this is Sanatan. It's eternally applicable to everywhere. This is the main thing. And that's why this scripture is very important. And really, Prabhupada has done great, great service by translating to in simple English. Otherwise, you learn completely in dark. I don't know really how to thank you. We are very much indebted. Kutta Nyam. We must be always grateful to him. This is one of the qualities. If you want to have the opulence, all opulence, you know, the opulence and the uh, riches, they are different things. Only riches doesn't give the opulence. We mix both of them. Riches means paisadar. Paisadar, you know, in Hindi. In South Indian language, what is the word for Paisadar? Panakara. Hmm? Panakara. Panakara. Huh? Speak of Panakara. Panakara. But here in, in Hindi, Paisadar. Dar means door. He, he stands at the door, the house is full of Paisa. House, full of, house is full of riches, but he's a guard. Guard has nothing to do with it. The whole building he guards, you know, can't spend a single penny. That is riches. Or, in other words, uh, spend extra weight. The best example is from this President Kennedy's wife, what? Jacqueline. Jacqueline. She was married to them. Unasi. And uh, that Unasi had the daughter, one daughter. <coughs> and her name was Christina, I think. Christina. <laughs> she has so much riches. The riches will not be exhausted. We should have fed whole India. Even then she would have been rich. But there was no touch of Krishna in the life. So that riches killed her. At the age of 35, somewhere in the corner of Argentina, outside Argentina, so in nightclub she was, she died. And afterwards her secretary had written a report in the newspaper <coughs> that she was eating junk, this burger, beef burger, burger, and she was consuming 150 coconut collectibles. And this is the reason of her death. This is the reason of the riches, without Krishna. The riches and money is there, but the opulence is not there. Opulence is completely different from money. Okay, this can, can be there with my thoughts. All the senseless sages, they were really paupers. But they were very open. This is the difference. Unless Krishna steps into our life, then whatever meager riches we have, we become very open at them. And this openness only promotes you in the world. Otherwise, no other said <coughs> even deliver opulence to the general population. And though they, they could understand them, that money may be less or more, doesn't matter. But opulence is very important. In 
Your appearance is only the result of getting in touch with the Supreme, always by hook or crook. Please, please try to remember this. This is the purport of this verse. Uh, read the um, the dissatisfaction which was being felt by Srila Vyaste is expressed here with him in his own words. Mm. This was the felt for the normal condition of the living beings in the devotional service of the Lord. Unless one is fixed in the normal condition of service, neither the Lord nor the living being can become fully satisfied. This defect was felt by him when Narada Muni, his spiritual master, reached him. It is described as follows. Yeah, then we go to the next chapter. The same thing is illustrated by Narada Muni. Which is the number of that verse? Um, um, ba Yashor Bhagavatam Mala. Ah. That one that is, um, Bhagavatam is a prime. Yashor yeah, Bhagavatam, 158. 1518 <laughs> So should be to satisfy him. And the whole of his successor of the Vedic society, the Charvana, the Ashram, etc. And the rituals we have, different rituals we have in our country. There are so many rituals are there. They are all meant to satisfy him. Because we are cut off from him, then those rituals have dry conditions now. There is no reason. <coughs> there was formerly everything was conducted for satisfaction, officially. And there is Bhagavad Dharma. These rituals we may not condemn, but the, the connection, if it is not with Krishna, then they should be stopped. <coughs> Otherwise, <coughs> indiscriminate killing of the animals were going on, then Buddha appeared. And he rejected the authorities of the Vedas because he didn't connect to the Supreme. This was the main purpose of Buddha, Buddha's appearance. Please remember there are so many incidences where the things are not connected to Krishna, they become burdensome and they are destructive by nature. 
There is anything you do for Krishna, or at least mentally you offer the results to Krishna, then it becomes constructive. And if it is constructive, then the satisfaction is there. You are pleased. How to perform that? No, you know, we, we go to some place where Prashadam is served. So everybody tries to serve Prashadam. They don't get salary there. But they enjoy serving others. Why? Because service, as soon as service comes, it, it has a tinge of the devotional activity. And if, if there is a tinge of the devotional activity in all act, our actions, then we are completely satisfied. This is the purpose of this. Unless we are pleased, what is the use of the having activities? From pleasing ourselves, we go to the bingo hall, we go here and you go there and you go there. It's all destructive activities we follow. And we wrongly think that I'll be pleased if I go at night, late at night, till I late night, I wake up. <coughs> what? Just create a revolution in this life. Otherwise, <coughs> these people, they were not able to sleep up to 3 a.m. And Prabhupada, I don't know how he did it. But they forced him to get up at 4 o'clock. And they stopped. For a while they stopped everything. Again now, because of the absence of Prabhupada, and because of the unfaithful faith in his literature, we are suffering. This is the result of this. Not following these two voices. You will never be satisfied unless you do this. And this is the, a, a clear instruction. And to prove this, uh, we have very nice uh, incidents of the, in the life of Surdas. He was a nice devotion, devotion poet. And Devadi, Antiji Devadi. Surdas was very unfit. Uh, give me, give me a play. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll show you. One, because he was very, he was very famous. He was blind in the Surda. But he was very nice singing versions and Kirtan Jambis. Very pleased in this activity. So he was famous all over India as a, as a nice duty. So in at that time, the Akbar was the king. This Muslim king was there. And Akbar was nearly half Hindu, half Muslim. He, he liked this thing. So he invited Surdas in his court. If I would have been invited in President's house, President's White House or whatever. Oh, I'd be so very elated, you know. A thousand times I think I have to go to see Krishna. I have to go to Krishna. So instead of Krishna consciousness, we are consumed by the present consciousness. This is our weakness. The unflinching faith, those who have, they have only Krishna in their mind. Whole mind is covered by Krishna. And this is the position of Sundar. You are not happy, really. Court, so he used to go that way, nothing more. So he went into the court and this, uh, there is a, in the end there is Brahmar Geet here. Brahmar Geet. A few verses are there. Uh, the bee sings. It's a nice instrument, you see that there. So the Surdas had compiled 300 uh, versions on that Brahmar Geet. And that book is very even now, it's available in an Hindi and sweet, which was in language, he sings, you know. So then he sang so many bhajans and Akbar was pleased, you know. So he said, now sing my glories. So Surya sang very nice bhajan, you know. You see, yeah, I'll explain to you this beautiful bhajan. Nahin rayo man me one man is in my mind. Tower means place. There is no place for anything else in my mind, is it? I repeat, even in the Mumra is absent. Repeat. Nahin. Nahin. Rayo. Rayo. Manameto. Manameto. This is, I don't have any place in my mind. This is devotional activity. He will only act for Krishna. 
nothing else. Very highly elevated state. But we can also fit into this according to our time and circumstances. This is where the thinking has to be there. As I told you yesterday, nobody can stop the activity. We are completely under the pressure of different taxations and so many other things. So we can never we will not be able to stop. Even, even in this model also, if you can stop, so far so good. But the general population is not ready. So force will not work here. Instead of forcing them, we should try to find out the amicable way and they can do. So then let them carry on their activity. Then in 12th chapter, there are two or three alternatives are given. They do this, if you can't do that, they do this. If you can't do that, then do this. If you can't do that, then do this. The last one is at least you try to have some result of your activity. Spend for Krishna. And it's very easy. So this is how we should fit in our preaching into this frame of Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita gives you the frame. You have to fit in the picture you want. The frame doesn't have a choice. The frame doesn't select the picture. You select the picture and you fit into the frame. Frame is given. And it's the one that you fit into the frame. And so this is this requires a bit of insight in Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam. And that insight you can have really have if you constantly are in touch with it. Constant means our mental activities must go on. Please go, that is the meaning of constant. Our mental activity has to go on. It has to go on expertly. And as soon as you expertly perform your duty according to age, then you are out of it. By stopping the activity, you cannot be out. This is Bhagavad Gita. What is it? Karmendriyani Sanyamya. Karmendriyani Sanyamya. Yaste Manasasmana. Yaste. What is it? Karmendriyani Sanyamya. Yaste Manasasmana. In the Indriyatran, Vimuratma, Mithyasara Sanchari. If you don't follow this frame, then it's Mithyasara. Karmendriyani Sanyamya. Then what he does? He forces a hand to act in such a way. And he thinks that I'm there. No, by stopping the hand, you can be there. By allowing the hand to do the work, you can be free. And do the work so that Krishna will be pleased by your activity. You are competent engineers. It's be you are very clever. You have a nice immaculate job done. And the Krishna will be pleased. The expertise will definitely please Krishna in your own activities. Please don't be shirkers, be, be workers. And we are shirkers more than the workers. This tendency will never take us anywhere. This is what he means here, through the And he says that I don't have any place for anything else in my mind. It's so easy to understand. The complete whole mind was covered by Krishna alone. So always the thinking was Krishna. What stops us? You are fortunate enough. The American government is maintaining you. What stops you from doing constant Krishna? Krishna that, that nothing stops, so that is what I am. Attempting to do. Yeah, attempting to do, but not doing. Then if I can understand English, English is your language. Mm-hmm. You tell it correctly. You are attempting to do, mm-hmm. not doing enough. Don't no, never do enough, <laughs> So please try. No, I mean to say, you are in a more extreme fortunate situation. Mm-hmm. Who is being maintained here? And who is the time it is this person? Everybody of you have to work. 
You are the only one in the case there. Then the government provides, and like son in law in India, he said, <laughs> in India, son in laws don't work. They go to the in those house, sit, and they are served very nice. And they are not so very angry. You are also angry with the government. They don't do it. So please, this is the advantage if you like. Now, the other thing is, you are with scriptures. So carry on these things. And then Sunda said, Nanda Nanda Nachat Kaise, Ani Yura Aur. It's a beautiful thing. Sing, Nahin Nakhreo Manmeto. Nahin Nakhreo Manmeto. Nanda Nanda Na. Achata kaise, achata kaise, ani ur aao, ani ur aao. Clear. Nanda nanda, nanda nanda. There is nanda nanda, achat, means there is. In my mind there is nanda nanda. Nanda nanda na, achata, nanda nanda na, achata. Kaise means how? How can I bring somebody else in my mind? He says, my mind is completely covered by Krishna. So I don't have any place left for you, but He says, King, I don't have any place left. How can you glorify? How can you glorify? And then he says, Father, Chalata Chitavata Chalata Chitavata Chalata Chitavata Chalata Chitavata Dau Sajagata Dau Sajagata Chalata means while walking. 